Well, when I'm attacked, when it seems that uh, someone is attacking me, um, it's a hard one to respond because each different situation uh, is in a different context. So it seems to be a different person who's attacking, and it seems to be um, it seems to be um, a different situation. And I can also seem to be in different levels of spiritual consciousness. So it just uh, it just depends on the day. Um, I uh, so you know generally um, having been in uh, um, twelve step addiction programs for um, let's see probably fourteen years uh, uh, pro thousands of groups and spoken to thousands of people um, addicts tend to be some of the you know the, the bottom of the barrel people you know alcoholics drug addicts. Uh, sex and love addicts, uh, food addicts, you've got all kinds of people in there uh, who come from extreme spiritual disconnection, you know, have had, uh, you know, extreme, um, uh, extreme, shall we say, uh, ego, uh, e ego uh, afflictions, shall we say. So it's like, you know, I, it's, 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 um, it's like one can sort of feel energetically where it's coming from also on the day can be my spiritual connection is different you know so the perception of what's happening is different depending on what it is um the uh one of the things is uh i mean this is also a 12-step thing but it's also a thing that hawkins discussed the the intention for um uh unconditional love so it has to be you know the course in miracles it has to be reframed uh asap you know, um, now it just depends um, if I'm in the um, if I'm in the observing, it would be to just drop to drop the invitation to pick up the story or the anger and to have that dwell in in a um, sometimes that may not arise. It depends. I might be pulled down to a lower level of consciousness, a more personal level. Um, but um, also there is the intuition of sometimes there is a capacity to be aware of probably what is that person's background and where they're coming from. So that's, um, so that's very, very helpful just to release the, release the need to hold on to a grievance. Um, so, uh, like, so it can be perceived differently. But I know, I mean, it's a thing of like, if it brings up deep stuff, it's probably... Um, I call it karmic issues or bag baggage. You know that's why this person is being brought to me. So it, it's a thing of uh, you just have acceptance. All kinds of things arise in the moment. You know, it could a seeming attack, um, fear, pain, whatever it is. So whatever arises, it's like uh, it, the main thing is as a, one of my main things is mystic. So is to transcend until it disappears. So it just depends how sticky it is. If, if there's seemingly a very strong attack, then it might be, you know, it, what arises in me. If there's a, a lot of emotion, it could be to just to sit with that emotion until it dissolves to nothingness. If it seems to be more, it's affecting the thinkingness, like how dare this person do that or how could they behave that way? Um, then it could be a, a lot of intense prayer. Uh, I don't really, I mean, for myself, um, in truth, there is no such thing as another. So it's like myself attacking myself. So uh, and so, just to be caught in that uh, in a in a trap. So that's not the point. There isn't myself attacking myself, but there is identity. I, I use the word identification. I'm identifying with, if you like, the um, the the story that's arising. You know, the video that's coming up. So if there's feelings arising, well, I'm identifying with those feelings. If there's a story arising that there's a me being attacked by another individual, I just know I need to clear that. So it could be cleared through prayer. Um, you know, I surrender to God this individual and I pray for forgiveness, transcend. And I'll just, if it's like in doing the prayer at a very rapid rate, it just starts to dissolve the ability to hold on to that story. And then at a certain point it collapses and, the, and, and it, either the scene, the person is seen totally differently or it's seen there's no problem and one can't even think about it. So at the level of identification of the attack, you know, if there's strong emotions or there's a strong story, 
there, then it might require, you know, intuitively, it could be feel the feelings, it could be uh, intense prayer, uh, um, it could be um, the uh, usually as more advanced, the observer. So all of those things and to dissolve it. I mean, I wrote in my book, uh, Bulletproof Peace, you know, one of the big ones I had in the 12 step group of the uh, of, a, of a lady uh, and uh, who it was obvious didn't, uh, you know, had a lot of uh, hatred and animosity and my ego responded, you know, with equal, uh, in an equal fashion. And so there was a lot of prayer, a lot of feeling the feelings uh, over a period of time. And then uh, that probably went on for several weeks or even longer. And then one day it's like it just, just lifted. So it was quite a heavy thing. And uh, on that day, it was so miraculous, I wrote it in the book. So I came and I thought, you know, there's nothing here between me and that person. I, can't, I couldn't even pick up a resentment against this person, even if this person attacked me in the group. I was actually looking forward to seeing her in the group. So it came in because I knew, it felt like the thing had been totally lifted from me and it wasn't and nothing there it was nothing there. It was like, you know, she, she can shout and scream and make all kinds of funny facial expressions, not a problem. So I came up and she actually came up to me on that day that I came in. It was so miraculous. She said, you've been a great spiritual teacher to me, Sabir. I just wanted to let you know that I'm uh, leaving the country. <laughs> and that was her goodbye to me. And she left the country. And uh, it was it was quite a miraculous thing. And I knew it was kind of obvious to me that there was a kind of a contract between the two of us. And until the work was done, she was going to keep showing up in front of me until I could clear that. And once I cleared the fear and the projections uh, and all the crap that came up from my end, then it was like the universe goes, well, you've, you've done your thing with her. And she's now we'll take her away to another country. And after that, I think there was mutual gratitude between the two of us uh, for the service that we had uh, done each other. Okay, I'll stop on that one on personal.